Eliza Bennet look this evening? I've never in my life seen anyone so much altered as she is since the winter. Quite so, my dear. She's grown so brown mm. and coarse. Mm. Louisa and I were agreeing that we should hardly know her. What do you say, Mr. Darcy? I noticed no great difference. He is, I suppose, a little tan. Hardly surprising when one travels in the sun. Mm. For my part, I must confess, I never saw any beauty in her face. Her features are not at all handsome. Her complexion has no brilliancy. Oh, her teeth are tolerable, I suppose, but nothing out of the common way. <laughs> and as for her eyes, which I have sometimes heard called fine, I could never perceive anything extraordinary in them. And in her air altogether, there's a self-sufficiency without fashion, which I find intolerable. I think... How long were you first knew her in Hertfordshire? Um, How amazed we all were to find her reputed beauty. I particularly recall you, Mr. Darcy, one night after they'd been dining at Netherfield, saying, she a beauty? I should as soon call her mother a wit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but afterwards, she seemed to improve on you. I even believe you thought her rather pretty at one time. Yes, I did. That was only when I first knew her. For it has been many months now since I have considered her one of the handsomest women of my acquaintance. 